This is Witchbase News for Friday the 30th of July 2021 ...I'm Commander Burr. In Elite Dangerous news this week ...there's a plea for assistance from the Hull Seals and Elite Dangerous Odyssey Patch 6 arrives. To make sure you don't miss any of our videos hit like and subscribe, click the little bell icon and remember to select all notifications and to further help support the work of this channel you'll also find us on Patreon. Links to everything you need are in the description below. If you're playing Elite on one of the consoles and have ever thought about joining an organisation like the Hull Seals then now might be the perfect time. If you're unfamiliar with the Hull Seals then allow me to fill in that gap for you. The Hull Seals are one of those most unique of Elite Dangerous entities ...a deep space rescue organisation that specialises in but isn't limited to emergency hull repairs. Similar in nature to the Fuel Rats, the very slick free service that they offer is run entirely by volunteer commanders and currently covers all platforms. If you accidentally lose more of your hull in the deep black than you would deem acceptable and after all who hasn't accidentally hit you know a planet before the hull seals will attempt to get a ship out to you with repair limpets to get you sealed up and back on your way again. Right now the hull seals have a shortfall of pilots to cover their commitments on the consoles. In particular their offering on the PlayStation is very keen to recruit more commanders to ensure continuation of the service on that platform. If you're currently looking for direction in the game and being a virtual rescue ranger has an appeal to you then don't delay. Get in touch with the whole seals via the link in the video description and get the huge oversized beach ball rolling to start earning your flippers with the galaxy's premier emergency hull repair specialists. After being hinted at earlier in the week the much anticipated patch 6 to Elite Dangerous Odyssey arrived on Thursday afternoon bringing with it new significant planetary visual improvements, enforcer ground troops armed with missile launchers at military settlements, a notable quality of life improvement to outfitting, meaningful improvements to lighting and the integration of more AMD tech to help improve frame rates as well as further visual improvements to neutron stars and white dwarves and just overall a huge boatload of general fixes that touch almost every single area of the game. Amongst the changes in the patch I'm very pleased to report that your SRVs should now be putting in a lot less insurance claims for unexpected broken lights, dented bumpers and burst tyres after certain troublesome rocks have had their cloaking devices removed and are being forced to show themselves on planetary surfaces. And my inherent gamer OCD can take a well earned break as the font on the shield strength graphic has been changed to match the remaining hull percentage indicator on the same element of the ships dashboard. I can already feel the collective community trigger subsiding. Suffice to say the patch notes run for several pages and there's a link in the video description below if you want to take a look. Together with the fixes, updates and visual improvements the patch also shipped with a serious overhaul to the games camera suite. If you're not a regular to the camera suite then Frontier actually released a short video to demonstrate side by side the changes that have been made. I've linked in the video description to that video. I don't think it's too much of an oversell to say it's a game changer for the photographic and videography community. Frontier CM and Camera Suite champion Sally Morgan Moore took focused feedback from the community a few weeks back and the overhaul to the system this week is the first fruit from that process. The end result of this is that the blackout shader that has been the bane of the games extremely active photography and videography community since forever is now almost completely gone. As is always the case with large patches however to any game update 6 did introduce some wrinkles of its own. There is some confusion currently around the sudden apparent addition of notoriety when making on foot kills in the game now. 
This is an important landscape altering addition to the game that wasn't mentioned in the patch notes. It's early days still as the patch dropped fairly late yesterday but Frontier are aware of the community confusion and there's a discussion ongoing on the forums hoping to further clarify the situation but the short version is that notoriety has apparently always been present for on foot kills but it builds on a per kill basis much slower than it does for ships. With that said no one noticed it before now and suddenly post patch 6 people are accruing notoriety after going on murder sprees. Something clearly is afoot ...foot pun everyone take a drink ...so I've linked to the still developing forum discussion below. A deliberate delay has been added to looting stolen items in a settlement. You now need to hold down the looting key to take them meaning you can't accidentally steal something. This feature whilst its intentions are well meaning has been met with almost universal negative feedback. Frontier have acknowledged that feedback already so it's likely that the system will be adjusted. Overall however the patch seems to have been met with a mostly loud and positive response from the wider community and whilst Odyssey is not fully out of the woods yet even by Frontiers admission the lighting is still being looked at as are frame rates and overall optimisations it is being seen as a very significant and positive step in the right direction to getting the game back to where it needs to be. But mostly one of the biggest changes we've noticed here Lots more people were suddenly exclaiming wow again randomly when we were playing last night including us. It's been a while since we've heard that many wows with such a regularity and it was very encouraging to hear that coming back into our game and into our galaxy. So how has patch 6 worked out for you? Are your settlement murder sprees now piling on unwanted notoriety or are you planning on joining the noble ranks of the hull seals? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then 07 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.